I'm Christine Frizzow in Washington. President-elect Donald Trump's choice to lead the Federal Communications Commission has yielded praise and criticism for his stated goals. Brendan Carr says he wants to deregulate much of the broadcast industry, but at the same time, more heavily regulate major technology companies. A top priority for the Federal Communications Commission under the future Trump administration will be, quote, reigning in big tech. The man tapped to lead the agency, current FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr, recently posting on X, we must dismantle the censorship cartel and restore free speech rights for everyday Americans. Despite a more hands-off approach recently by companies like Meta, which owns Facebook and Instagram, Republicans have long insisted big tech censors conservative voices, blocking or suppressing content related to Hunter Biden's laptop or COVID-19 vaccine policies, which some government officials worried would lead to more transmission of or death from the virus. As a conservative, I do think that there is a role for the government to play with respect to content moderation. In other realms, Carr has promoted deregulation, with industry leaders celebrating his appointment as a boon for business and recently accused NBC of violating the equal time rule when Kamala Harris appeared on Saturday Night Live just before the election. And I'm just here to remind you, you got this. In response, the network gave Trump TV time following a NASCAR race. Just remember, Kamala and her friends broke it. I'll fix it. Critics worry Trump's disdain for traditional TV networks could make them a target over the next four years. They're a news organization. They have to be licensed to do it. They ought to take away their license for the way they did that. Some insisting the FCC has limited power when it comes to big tech. The FCC shouldn't be in the content regulating business. They're in charge of handing out broadcast licenses. They're in charge of making sure consumers don't don't get ripped off by their cable television or their phone company. While President-elect Trump has pivoted on his support of banning TikTok in the United States, Commissioner Carr appears to be in favor of it. As the author of the FCC section of Project 2025, he details the national security threat it and Chinese telecom as a whole poses to the country. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzow.